Numbers 2. The Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, The people of Israel shall camp, each by his own standard, with the banners of their fathers' houses. They shall camp facing the tent of meeting on every side. Those to camp on the east side toward the sunrise shall be of the standard of the camp of Judah by their companies, the chief of the people of Judah being Nashon the son of Amminadab, his company as listed being seventy-four thousand six hundred. Those to camp next to him shall be the tribe of Issachar, the chief of the people of Issachar being Nethanel, the son of Zuar, his company as listed being fifty-four thousand four hundred. Then the tribe of Zebulun, the chief of the people of Zebulun being Eliab, the son of Helon, his company as listed being fifty-seven thousand four hundred. All those listed of the camp of Judah by their companies were one hundred eighty-six thousand four hundred. They shall set out first on the march. On the south side shall be the standard of the camp of Reuben by their companies, the chief of the people of Reuben being Eliezer the son of Shadar, his company as listed being forty-six thousand five hundred. And those to camp next to him shall be the tribe of Simeon, the chief of the people of Simeon being Shalumiel the son of Zerushadai, his company as listed being fifty-nine thousand three hundred. Then the tribe of Gad, the chief of the people of Gad being Eliasaph the son of Ruel, his company as listed being 45,650. All those listed at the camp of Reuben by their companies were 151,450. They shall set out second. Then the tent of meeting shall set out, with the camp of the Levites in the midst of the camps. As they camp, so shall they set out, each in position, standard by standard. On the west side, shall be the standard of the camp of Ephraim by their companies, the chief of the people of Ephraim being Elishema the son of Amihud, his company as listed being 40,500, and next to him shall be the tribe of Manasseh, the chief of the people of Manasseh being Gamaliel the son of Pedazer, his company as listed being 32,200, then the tribe of Benjamin, the chief of the people of Benjamin being Abidon, the son of Gideoni, his company as listed being 35,400. All those listed of the camp of Ephraim by their companies were 108,100. They shall set out third on the march. On the north side shall be the standard of the camp of Dan by their companies, the chief of the people of Dan being Ahiazer, the son of Amishadai, his company as listed being 62,700. And those to camp next to him shall be the tribe of Asher, the chief of the people of Asher being Pajiel, the son of Okran, his company as listed being 41,500. Then the tribe of Naphtali, the chief of the people of Naphtali being Ahira, the son of Anan, his company as listed being 53,400. All those listed of the camp of Dan were 157,600. They shall set out last standard by standard. These are the people of Israel, as listed by their fathers' houses. All those listed in the camps by their companies were 603,550. But the Levites were not listed among the people of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses. Thus did the people of Israel, according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. So they camped by their standards, and so they set out each one in his clan, according to his father's house. Psalm 36 Transgressions speak to the wicked deep in his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes, for he flatters himself in his own eyes that his iniquity cannot be found out and hated. The words of his mouth are trouble and deceit. He has ceased to act wisely and do good. He plots trouble while on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not reject evil. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mountains of God. Your judgments are like the great deep. Man and beast, you save, O Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. The children of mankind take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house and you give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light 
do we see light. O oh, continue your steadfast love to those who know you, and your righteousness to the upright of heart. Let not the foot of arrogance come upon me, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. There the evildoers lie fallen. They are thrust down, unable to rise. Ecclesiastes 12 Remember also your Creator in the days of your youth. Before the evil days come, and the years draw near of which you will say, I have no pleasure in them. Before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars are darkened, and the clouds return after the rain, in the day when the keepers of the house tremble, and the strong men are bent, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those who look through the windows are dimmed, and the doors on the street are shut, when the sound of the grinding is low, and one rises up at the sound of a bird, and all the daughters of song are brought low, they are afraid also of what is high, and terrors are in the way. The almond tree blossoms, the grasshopper drags itself along, and desire fails, because man is going to his eternal home, and the mourners go about the streets, before the silver cord is snapped, or the golden bowl is broken, or the pitcher is shattered at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern, and the dust returns to the earth as it was, and the spirit returns to God who gave it. Vanity of vanity, says the preacher. All is vanity. Besides being wise, the preacher also taught the people knowledge, weighing and studying and arranging many proverbs with great care. The preacher sought to find words of delight, and uprightly he wrote words of truth. The words of the wise are like goads, and like nails firmly fixed are the collected sayings. They are given by one shepherd. My son, beware of anything beyond these. Of making many books there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. The end of the matter, all has been heard. Fear God and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every deed into judgment with every secret thing, whether good or evil. The Letter of Paul to Philemon Chapter 1 Paul, a prisoner for Christ Jesus and Timothy our brother, to Philemon, our beloved fellow worker, and Aphia our sister, and Archippus our fellow soldier, and the church in your house. Grace to you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always when I remember you in my prayers, because I hear of your love and of the faith that you have toward the Lord Jesus and all the saints. And I pray that the sharing of your faith may become effective for the full knowledge of every good thing that is in us for the sake of Christ. For I have derived much joy and comfort from your love, my brother, because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you. Accordingly, though I am bold enough in Christ to command you to do what is required, yet for love's sake I prefer to appeal to you, I, Paul, an old man and now a prisoner also for Christ Jesus, I appeal to you for my child Onesimus, whose father I became in my imprisonment. Formerly he was useless to you, but now he is indeed useful to you and to me. I am sending him back to you, sending my very heart. I would have been glad to keep him with me in order that he might serve me on your behalf during my imprisonment for the gospel. But I prefer to do nothing without your consent in order that your goodness might not be by compulsion, but of your own free will. For this perhaps is why he was parted from you for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, as a beloved brother, especially to me. But how much more to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord. So if you consider me your partner, receive him as you would receive me. If he has wronged you at all, or owes you anything, charge that to my account. I, Paul, write this with my own hand. I will repay it, to say nothing of your owing me, even your own self. Yes, brother, I want some benefit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. Confident of your obedience, I write to you, knowing that you will do even more than I say. At the same time, prepare a guest room for me 
for I am hoping that through your prayers I will be graciously given to you. Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus, sends greetings to you, and so do Mark, Aristarchus, Demas, and Luke, my fellow workers. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit.